Hello everyone, welcome back. And if you are new here and you do not know me, my name is Alexandra and this is my friend Kreri. It's been a really long time since I made one of these videos. I was waiting for the young birds to fledge, but this year there are no youngsters. But Kreri and Ku are still here. And now they get a well-deserved peaceful summer together. What exactly went wrong this year, I don't know for sure. It all seemed to go pretty well in the beginning. I saw them collecting food and bringing it to the nest every day. Preparing little pieces with water for the babies in the nest. And transporting baby poop out of the nest. Visible by the white blotches on the beak. I also saw him arriving with a poop in his beak and spitting it on my terrace. So what happened? One night we could hear loud cawing crows. That is very unusual. So maybe something happened during that night. Whatever the reason may have been, I am sure Kerry and crew did their absolute best and now they have an unexpected, relatively quiet summer with little work ahead of them. But who prints Kredi? Crew is obviously not interested. I showed him my finger and I offered to print him, but he is not willing to come to me. But they take a little sun bath together. While Crew seems happy just enjoying the sun. Kreri still wants a few strokes. I'm always happy about Kreri's company. He keeps asking for food almost every time he encounters me outside. Sometimes he gets a bit too cheeky. Mm. 
but it is always a lot of fun to have him around. In addition to us humans, the social structure of the crow's living environment naturally also includes other cultural predators such as ravens and foxes. We have at least two foxes in our direct neighborhood. And they are both very calm and peaceful.
Thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. See you next time.